Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me in this webinar where we will be talking about everything that's new with and at Soldo. My name is Brandon Till. I'm the head of solutions marketing here at Soldo. And in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to be taking you through uh, updates that are important to know about really all around the theme of how can we help you to accomplish more. The focus is how do we help companies working with Soldo to make more use of their resources, their capital and their time so that they can accomplish more at work. This webinar is broken up into five parts, the introduction, which we're doing now, followed by a focus on the Solo platform. What are the updates that we've been working on in the product in the last six months? We'll be inviting some of our partners from Amazon in, from Amazon Business, talking about the new Amazon Business integration, uh, what your Amazon Business account is versus your Amazon account, and how this integration helps really free up time so you can accomplish more. Finally, there's Triver. Triver is a partner that we've been working with for a few months. Um, in terms of getting access to capital for small businesses. And finally, with a few of the resources and downloads that we've created at Soldo that can help you. So without further ado, happy to get into our product updates here at Soldo. And we're bringing in Nadia Laskar, who is our Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Soldo to tell us what's going on with products. So, so Nadia, thanks for joining us. Tell us what's what's new with the product. Amazing. Thank you so much, Brandon. And hi, everyone. Like Brandon said, I'll be giving you a bit of an update on some of the things we've been working on over the past quarter here at Soldo. So as always, with every improvement and update, our main aim is to get you and your teams to accomplish more. We want to liberate you from the laborious admin of spend management so that you can actually focus on some of the more strategic things that matter to you. With that in mind, our latest updates therefore focus on maximizing your productivity and reducing any inconveniences to ensure that you have as little friction as possible when you're working on the things that matter to you. So let's get going. When it comes to maximizing your productivity, we've got three main updates here that we wanted to share with you, all hoping to put you more in control of your day to day. First up, we've got a really exciting announcement here around introducing a new payment method to Soldo. Teams can now handle more types of payments through one solution. The update brings capabilities to make outbound bank transfers directly from the Soldo platform. So when using your Soldo card to make a payment isn't an option, there's now an alternative to make some of those payments. That's an exciting one. I know because Soldo people associate so much. They think Soldo, they think a Soldo card. So it's really exciting to see us expand out and give people more ways that they can use Soldo to make payments and, and to help their business accomplish more. What what are some of the use cases that we came across working with customers that they want to use uh, that they want to use this this outbound bank transfer functionality for? Yeah, so there were, there were kind of two main scenarios that we found this being a really useful kind of capability for customers. One, you know, standard reimbursements. We know a lot of our customers have employees that still, you know, have those, you know, out of pocket expenses. Um, and, you know, whereas before they may have to use different systems to reimburse that, you can now actually use the dedicated reimbursement workflow of pay someone to make those kind of transfers to your employees. So that's, you know, under one roof now really easy. Um, and then secondly, um, obviously, we've kind of mentioned this a bit before, but making some of those third party payments that, you know, may not always accept a card payment, but actually uh, might want a bank transfer. So pay someone does offer now that alternative method to pay suppliers, pay, pay their invoices and or even make one off external payments that may not may not have accepted a previous method. So those are the two two kind of main scenarios. No, it makes sense. I suppose it depends on on your industry. I was speaking to some of our yeah. customers who are care homes earlier this year, and they're talking about people coming in to do haircuts and, and that they just didn't take card payments. So yeah. great to see they now have a way they can they can help facilitate that payment. Um, and I see you put here too, it's included on Standard Plus and Enterprise. Was so this available today? Is this available now for people? Uh, yes, so it should be available for everyone. But if you find yourself in a situation where you don't have access to it, um, it might be worth kind of ch changing over to the Standard Plus or the 2024 Enterprise plans and just making sure that you're on the right plan for that. Excellent. Yeah, great. And what else is in store? <clears throat> Amazing. So Next up, uh, we're getting, we're hoping to get everyone to, you know, new levels of efficiency. Uh, we've introduced a new capability to now set card rules in bulk. So if you're an organization that has a large number of cards to manage, setting spend rules and limits on all of these cards is now much easier. So whether you want to set rules on merchant categories or geolocation, 
you can now apply these to several cards at one time giving people the, a lot more visibility and control over the different spending rules that they've set across teams, across different cards, you know, all in one in one place. So, you know, really ideal for teams that want to get those efficiently done. Yeah, definitely. I know, too, the control aspect for from the finance point of view is really important and, and people coming from banks and things that the cards really have little to no control on it. Could, could you break down a little bit more, too, like what what types of controls are we talking about that you can set in bulk? Yeah, no, it's a great question. And actually, this is something that does set Soldo apart. So not only do we are we able, like allowing customers to set limitations, but we also have an extra layer of granularity to set more rules and controls. So, for example, um, when it comes to limits, you can set limitations around things such as cash withdrawals, spending limits, currency types, whether, you know, whether you want to allow only contact less or online payments. So, you know, that's something that you can set limitations on. But alongside that, we've also got um, additional merchant categories and exclusions that you can make. So if you want to set restrictions around where spend can go and what type of spend someone can make, um, that's something that you can do too. So example being, you know, you could only want to set transport costs as something that someone can spend on. So that's that's something that you can do through these cardboard presets. And then lastly, as mentioned before, geo control limits, that's another thing. So if you want your employees to you know, only spend in specific countries, if they're out and about all the time, um, that's, again, something that you can set here in bulk on several cards at, at one time. So these are some of the examples of the, the granularity that now comes with this that, you know, sold offers alongside the limitations. Great. Yeah. Program it at the start and then keep keep your exactly. hands off and stay in control. That's a, that's a, a nice option for the finance team. Absolutely. Amazing. And then lastly, we've now also made temporary virtual cards available on mobile. And it's really important to us that anyone using Soldo is empowered to make a purchase whenever and also wherever. But with this update, admins and users can now request, approve and access temporary virtual cards on the go whenever they need to. So, you know, great one for anyone who's always asking about and may need to make a one off transaction and, you know, needs to access a card. Yeah, that's great. Especially, I'm, I'm sure for the team, especially if they maybe don't have their own solo card to be able to get access to that. When, like you said, when and where they need it. Um, yeah, I guess you don't always know when these expenses are going to come due. So love to see this coming in into mobile. Yes, exactly. It's, yeah, really exciting. Um, amazing. So we've also got a few other platform improvements that we wanted to let you all know uh, all about. These all focus on just really trying to reduce any inconveniences that you know you have on the way and give you as little friction as possible when working on what matters. So one which we're really excited about, actually it may look small, but actually it's one that we've heard a lot of you talk about is the our inactivity timer. So we finally kind of made an update to that. I know we've all been there, you know, being logged out of an app when working across different tools, having lots going on. Um, updated inactivity timer now means that you can be inactive on the platform for 15 minutes without having to log in again giving you more time to focus on the tasks at hand. Yeah, I, th I think sometimes I feel like the first 10 minutes of my day is, is logging into various tools that I was just using the day before. So um, why do why we set this up to begin with? Why do we have an inactivity timer? Yeah, and it's a question we get a lot, actually. Uh, I mean, as well as being a platform, Soldo is also a regulated financial services company. So, you know, we deal with some of your sensitive information and your company money. So in order to keep that all secure and safe, um, we've actually put certain controls into place to make sure that that's the case. So things like the inactivity timer are one of those controls that we put in place to make sure all these sensitive things are, you know, protected. Right. I'm sure I know finance and our finance team. I know loves that too. That they won't have to be using their code to log back in quite so quite so often in the days. Yeah. Exactly. Great. Amazing. Um, and then lastly, we've got a bit of a resource to share with you all. Um, something we really hope can help you maximize Solder's capabilities. Um, we've kind of released our new business API portal. It's very much a one-stop resource for teams seeking to automate some of their financial processes. It's really user-friendly, it's comprehensive, and the documentation covers how APIs, uh, how our APIs facilitate everything from transaction exports to virtual card management. So hopefully you can be using this to drive a bit more productivity across the board and across your teams. And that's that. So. With our recent updates, hopefully you can really go to get some of that productivity going. And we've got a lot more things brewing for next quarter. And we'll, we continue to listen to you closely to understand all your needs. So stay tuned for next next round. 
Thank you, Nazia. Thank you. I think we, we will. It's, it's very exciting to see the updates and looking forward to see uh, what comes next as well. So next up, uh, very happy to be joined by two of our partners from Amazon Business as we discuss our new Amazon Business integration, something that we've launched a few months back. Companies are still just discovering and getting to, to use with Soldo. So thank you for joining me on this webinar. Welcome to Zainab and Matias from Amazon Business. Maybe tell us a little bit about yourselves and a little bit about Amazon Business. Yeah, sounds great. So uh, we've actually been working pretty close with Soldo for the last few months, and we're really excited about uh, the product that we're bringing to market together. Amazon Business is a solution to help customers simplify and manage their, their procurement, basically, and it pretty much adapts to a lot of what we've been discussing with Soldo. Matthias here, part of the, like the partnerships team here at Amazon Business. And we have signed up with us too, looking at the startups account management space. Zainab, I think you're going to take us through Amazon business. And, and what is Amazon business? Obviously, I think we all know Amazon. Uh, and I, I've gotten to use Amazon business myself here at Soldo, and I use Amazon. Um, so maybe to give us an introduction about what, what is Amazon business? Sure. And that's a great question. So I think before Matthias takes over and explains how the integration works with Soldo, I'd like to make it very clear to everyone what Amazon Business is, how is it different from other from providers, from other procurement partners, but also from Amazon.com. But basically, the way I like to put it is everything you love about Amazon, but for businesses. So that's the simplest way to put it. And I think, as you can see, uh, actually at the bottom, the, the, the user experience is quite similar in terms of the look and the feel um, of the account, which is, by the way, free uh, to create, just like the regular Amazon.com account that we all have and use at our homes. Uh, you can create an account and there is there is no commitment, there is no contract just like the usual Amazon experience. And essentially we're the B2B procurement arm of Amazon, again, different from the consumer side. And you as a business get to unlock thousands of products, um, actually millions of products from many categories. We still have core selection that might be similar to the amazon.com experience, but obviously this is built for businesses. Hence you see that we have different categories that cater for businesses from break room supplies, like your coffee filters, your coffee to IT peripherals, your cables and everything you need for your offices to uh, maintenance and repair products that you might need for your facilities team. And as you can see over here, we have millions of products that you can select from. Again, the same Amazon marketplace experience of competitive prices because we're customer obsessed as usual, and you unlock these business pricing savings. So essentially everything that, everything that you're used to as Amazon, but for businesses, right? So you have everything in one-stop shop, the price selection, um, the, the availability of millions of products, the, the digitized experience that you're used to, as well as deliveries, et cetera, which I think we can get to a bit more, but that's pretty much the experience. Everything you love, but if you're a business, that's your go-to procurement platform. Yeah, I've, I've used it myself. I use it myself for gift cards mainly uh, in, in my role, <laughs> but but it is nice to be able to just to log in and, and to be able to find what we need with the, the Amazon business account. Exactly. So, um, yeah, why I, I guess, Amazon business versus Amazon? Uh, you mentioned the savings, which is fantastic, yes. but... Yeah, I, I feel like savings is one part of only one small or medium piece of the puzzle because there are so many other benefits and features and toolkits, as I call it, for businesses. So pricing is only one part of it, whereas you have so many added other added benefits for businesses, right? And for the sake of today, but also in general, we see it in three kind of pillars, which is strategic, commercial, and operational. And again, I would really like to underscore that this is built with businesses in mind. The platform is constantly evolving. We're listening to businesses, how we can deliver better. So I would like to think of Amazon business as almost a startup within Amazon where the product is so dynamic and customer feedback is crucial. But what we deliver today and what we're working on is strategic pillars, strategic incentives being you, first of all, save on time and on your resources by consolidating thousands of suppliers, right? Like what does a business need? You need PCs, you need office snacks, you need, depending on the type of business you are, you need maintenance products. And if you can imagine, it's very difficult to get these products from different suppliers, whereas you get to do this all in Amazon business with a digitized account. Um, more importantly, and I think a lot of the more tech-driven and tech-savvy businesses 
also, I guess any business who is on top of their expenditures and finances, they need visibility into what they're spending today. So we also have a real time on demand analytics suite that you can use from within the account at no extra cost, which is amazing. So you not only buy stuff, but you also see what you're buying, uh, how much you're spending on each category and potential savings, which brings me to automation, which is obviously a word that we love and integrations, the reason why we're here today. And we're not only a shopping platform or a purchasing platform, but we also provide other efficiencies by integrating with um, 100 plus procurement platforms. We have partners like Soldo, as well as we provide connection via SSO, we, where we cover 80% of the IDP SSO providers. Last but not least here, ESG goals are becoming so important. They've always been important, but they're more in the limelight, I'll say, for a lot of companies who either reported back to their investors or because of you know, the challenges we're facing today as a society, the businesses have to show their ESG efforts. And again, you're not just buying stuff and they just disappear, but you actually get to report on the ESG credentials of these uh, products and how you're tracking against your ESG goals by being able to buy 550,000 um, sustainable products, but also ability to report on them. And commercial and operational to kind of give a broader understanding, it's evident that the pricing is different from amazon.com. So it's sharp business pricing. And we obviously do provide other incentives that are constantly being worked on and improved upon that are B2B specific pricing incentives, programs and discount initiatives, et cetera, which you otherwise wouldn't be able to unlock with an amazon.com account, or I reckon with other suppliers who work more on a less digitized, I guess, solution, whereas everything is in one place with Amazon business. Last but not least, selection, but how do you make it easy when you're a small to medium to large organization? People buy things for the company, but how do you curate and control what people buy? Because as a company, you might prefer certain products, certain specifications. How do you embed all of these preferences again in one place? You get to curate catalogs. You can say, I want my company to buy from these providers, from these companies. We want our chairs to be of this specification or our cables, et cetera. So you can actually create a catalog as a company. So that means your purchases are, are more homogenous. You know, one person's not buying one cable and the other is buying a completely different cable, for example. And same goes for embedded workflows. You want people to be able to stick to a certain budget, or if they go above that budget, you want the approval of your finance POC. We can embed all of these processes and guardrails within the account. So you're not you know, opening the floodgates, but actually you control any possible rogue action that it would be too late to fix once the purchase is made. Everything can be built into the account. Last but not least, you get account management, but also a very loved feature is that we have a mobile app. Again, I think for more digital companies, for more tech-driven companies, it's very important to have either insights or the ability to buy as you go hybrid, off-site, you know, wherever you are, you want to be able to log in to your Amazon business account, which you can thanks to our mobile app. So there's there's a lot, as you can see, but I would say these are the main uh, pillars and the reasons why this platform is built for businesses who want to do more with less. Oh, that, it's fantastic because at Solda, we are all about helping to enable the employees and free up that flow of finance to it. And so for, for us, we know finance teams need to have that control over how their teams are spending at the same time. How do you equip them to be more agile so they can accomplish more? And that's why I thought this partnership and the integration between us made a lot of sense. Um, it, it was that and we, you know, at Solda, we can control the, the card level spending that you can con spend on Amazon or not. But when it gets down to that specific purchase, um, you know, that's another layer that they get that finance can then control through your catalogs and ESG is always important. Um, and, and another thing we, we looked at it and we saw just Amazon purchases and Amazon business was one of the top ways people were using Soldo cards across businesses. So we were really excited to, to partner with you to build this integration to make the process even more seamless. And Matthias, I know you were deeply involved with that. So maybe you can take us through a little bit the exact integration and how then Soldo integrated with Amazon. What, what does that mean? Yeah, so absolutely. So pretty much in the way that you mentioned, <clears throat> Soldo is trying to help, you know, the finance team, you know, do more with less and help, you know, drive productivity and compliance. Amazon Business is all about, you know, enabling those employees to be able to buy whatever they need for their job in a way that is, again, super productive and efficient and still compliant to whatever the procurement policies for that company are. 
Uh, and that's pretty much what we we're kind of trying to work here together with Soldo for the next last in a few months and how can we make this kind of the best of both, both worlds together, right? And all of it came down to how can we help companies buying an Amazon business be able to process and simplify their, their processes around and the invoice reconciliation, basically. So buy an Amazon business and get your invoice automatically, po automatically populated into your Soldo account, basically, and automatically reconciled to your Soldo payment. And that would save a lot of time and free a lot of time for account payable team trying to match invoice and payments and run that reconciliation process at the end of the month. So it's all about simplifying the purchasing on Amazon business when you're using your Soldo card, um, basically enabling that automation to happen and, and Soldo and Amazon business to communicate between each other and, and send invoices from one one platform to the other. Uh, and it's it's about, you know, using a lot of the tools that Sana was mentioning around Amazon business, like visibility and control for spend, on top of what you already have on Soldo, a kind of finance space around control and spend too. So basically being able to pair this up and make sure that you have a super strong visibility and, and, and com control of, of what's happening out there in, in, in your company around procurement and how can, can you make, make sure that you're actually managing it properly and, and kind of driving some of those savings through an improved productivity, but also savings as Sainab was mentioning before. Uh, and the last is about you know helping that account accounting team and accounts payable team had a better kind of end of end of month, uh, trying to avoid that classic kind of fight with 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 employees around hey you purchased something on Amazon but where's the invoice you need to expense it you haven't expensed it uh, and basically trying to reduce sort of that, that noise around you know uh, solving your your procurement needs as an employee in a way that is scalable and easy right. Yeah, that, that end of month, it, for both employees and finance, it really adds up. You know, it takes people days or weeks even, and it happens every month. So so anything we can do, I think, to speed that up for everyone to help them focus on the work that matters more, it is the, really the driver behind helping accomplish more. Um, so, you know, we've got this free Amazon business account with, with a layer on top of Amazon giving us all of these discounts, functionality, control, visibility of purchasing, and then linked with the Soldo card. Uh, can, can you just take us through quickly how uh, how is this difficult to set up or what's the process like to get get set up with Soldo? Yeah, so and Amazon? good point. Uh, maybe we can do the next. Yeah, exactly. So we, can, we customers can uh, or businesses can actually access the, the Amazon Business and Soldo integration either through the Amazon Business App Center or the Soldo integrations page. So uh, a quick way of doing it is going into your Soldo, logging in and basically going to your integration section. Uh, and in there, you'd basically be able to find Amazon Business uh, and you can basically click connect. Uh, that would ask you know, for your Amazon Business login details. Obviously, you need to make sure that you're using your Amazon Business login details and not your Amazon consumer details. Uh, and also, you need to make sure that, that whoever is setting up the integration, it's an admin on both accounts, the Amazon Business and the Soldo account. So pretty much straightforward integration process uh, and that would basically enable Amazon Business and Soldo to communicate and have invoices flowing from Amazon Business to your Soldo uh, account and automatically reconcile to that kind of payment transaction. Brilliant. So yeah, not does doesn't take a it doesn't take any developers just a few clicks and I guess we're we're in to go. Well, one thing I like about this this integration too is we, we've been live with it for a few months now. We had a beta process before, and I know some of our customers are using it. Uh, we heard back from some of them about their experience, and 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 like I mentioned, for at Soldo, Amazon and, and Amazon Business is one of the top ways people use their Soldo cards and making these all the variety that you, that you outlined set up of purchases. Uh, and so just one to share was was Hexagon Care, a company we work with out of the UK who, you know, they're doing 6,000. They mentioned doing over 6,000 purchases a month, 10% on Amazon. So it's, it's really taking a, a large number of purchases every month and being able to make sure they've got that receipt automatically flowed, saving their team time, helping them to, to get out there and to do more. So we were thrilled to see that for this company and many like it, it it's already up and running. Yeah, and so again, it's it's about you know making sure that they can drive efficiencies and save time, that kind of reduce the cost of processing all of those transactions, right? But then also making sure that you're enabling your employees to spend in the right way, in a compliant way, and aligned to your procurement and finances policies, right? So it's kind of that's the beauty about using both you know your Amazon Business and Soldo solutions together. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we're we're thrilled to be partnered with you, and look forward to, to to seeing more of our customers from both sides getting on on board with Soldo and with Amazon Business to to drive that productivity and and savings across the board. So, thank you both for joining me today for for the webinar and giving us the introduction. Thank absolutely, you for us. thanks so much.
We've been looking at how we can help people accomplish more, and it makes me really excited to bring in our next partner for Soldo uh, from the company called Triver. We have Goche, who is the chief commercial officer here to tell us about Triver and a another company like Soldo helping businesses to accomplish more uh, and also liberate finance a little bit. So Goche, thanks for coming and joining us today. Can you tell us, tell me a little bit about Triver? Sure. Hi, Brandon, and thank you for having me here today. Very excited to, to be here and talk about Triver. So Triver is a fintech founded by financial services experts with many years in banking and fintechs developing automated lending solutions. And leveraging AI, open banking, and machine learning, we offered the very first fully automated invoice finance solution in the market. And we turn receivables into cash flow for our customers in minutes. And pretty much it's accessible 24 7. Okay, wow. Um, how long have you guys been, been around and in business now for the last? Uh, it's been about two years now. Yeah. Okay, great. I know we've been partners for the last few months and it's, it's been a nice start. We've already had some customers sign up and things. So just, just help so people can understand who are not familiar. What, what's the core problem that you would solve for, for businesses? Sure. So uh, maintaining a healthy cash flow is one of the most important concern for small businesses and actively managing your cash flow is the smart way to run and grow a sustainable and a resilient comp company. And I know that's the area you are uh, help with as well. And as a result, uh, you know, once they solve this issue, customers can have peace of mind. There's almost always a lag between receiving payment for the goods and services you have sold and paying for the inventory services and wages that you need to produce those services. So this delay impacts small businesses cash flow. Mm. And there are different levers to pull to effectively manage cash flow. And one of them is having access to short term cash flow financing options. This is where Triver comes in. Right. No, it's it's interesting because we we talk about it so that we want to free up free up liberate finance to free up that flow of money within a business so that companies can accomplish more. So it's it's interesting to see you know just having access to that money I suppose is step one for a lot of small businesses. So it's it's a great service that you do offer. And what makes it unique? What is unique about Triver? So. There are, of course, traditional financing options out there, but they all have a combination of drawbacks. Like some of them take weeks to open an account and draw down funds. Some of them require a lot of paperwork, require personal guarantees or securities on the company. So they put charges, which you can also see on companies' house. Um, they can charge multiple and not so transparent fees, like setup fees, unused limit fees, or like renewal fees and everything. So, and as a result, the total cost of borrowing becomes too high and it's actually very difficult to compare to other options out there. So it's not very transparent and they can give quite small limits. So there are some options like bank overdraft. They can be very easy to use, but banks won't give you more than, um, you know, uh, two, three percent of your annual turnover, like maximum five sure. percent. So. And what we are trying to do is to solve pretty much for all of these problems. And, uh, so basically, customers can open their facility and advance their invoices within minutes with us. And many of our customers have their money in their account uh, in less than 15 minutes from starting the application. Wow. So, yeah, our, our entire application journey is online uh, and we don't ask for any paperwork submission or to sign personal guarantees or securities in the process. We only require open banking connection. And customers can get up to 20% of their annual limit as a facility limit. As any, so they can get up to 20% of their annual turnover as a facility right. limit. And we only charge them one simple daily fee for the days they use our service. Okay. Yeah. Well, sounds, I mean, to avoid that big headache of all those hoops to jump through just to be able to to get an operation sounds like a good thing. So maybe you can walk me through just, just briefly. If I were to get set up, how, how would it work? Like from... Um, you know, if I was interested today in getting set up, how does that work? Sure. So customers apply only by just submitting company name and then connecting their open banking account and then a few clicks to confirm certain things. Uh, and at the end of this, we open a facility limit for them after behind the scenes running AI and machine learning supported decision engines to evaluate their application. When we approve and open the limit, they can submit their invoices to draw down funds. Any. Yes, and they can, and once the invoice, each invoice submission is evaluated, once it's approved, we send the funds through faster payments so they'll have the money in their account in a few minutes. Okay, and you say, yeah, 15 minutes for, for some companies, that's pretty <laughs> amazing. But you mentioned it's done through through open banking. Is that is that a 
safe way to to operate and to that businesses can trust the open banking on your side? Yes, we definitely think so. So open banking is a framework for you know businesses and also consumers to share their financial data with other financial companies or financial technology companies of their choice. It is actually mandated uh, to financial institutions to make this data available by regulation. And its purpose is to bring more competition and as a result, more innovation, better pricing to, to the customers. So try where we use open banking to read only the transaction history of our customers. And uh, this enables us to make faster and better decisions. Our permissions are only read-only, so no need to worry about messing up with your account. And we work uh, with a company called TrueLayer uh, for our open banking connection, and they're a, a company that's trusted by major banks to provide the same for them. So, no, no it's, it's good. I, should I, be a I concern. assumed it was. I know we're partners. We're quite picky about who we partner with as well, and we have our own financial services side because it is security, obviously. Utmost importance to to any any business and small businesses too. Um, and you mentioned the small businesses before. Is, is that who this is best for, or which type of business is, is the best fit for for opening a Triver account or working with Triver? Sure. So it is best fit for small businesses who have been trading for more than two years and have more than hundred thousand annual turnover uh, in the you know last twelve months, and they need to be trading. B2B with other UK entity and trading, issuing invoices and trading with payment terms. Uh, we don't have any industry restrictions. We accept invoices that are made to other UK entities, as I said, and these can be any limited businesses, publicly traded businesses, public sector entities, and etc. We just don't accept invoices um, made to sole traders or consumers. And in terms of the... Uh, uh, from 100,000 to any annual turnover is fine, but probably I think the sweet spot would be up to 10 million turnover or so. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. No, that, that sounds that sounds great. So it's, um, you know, it, it sounds like a, a great offer if companies are looking for that, that cash to continue to advance their business and help grow their business. Where, at what point then did, would a business pay pay back to Triver? How does, how does it work in terms of like when does... When, does, when would a company pay back to Triver? So every time a customer uploads an invoice to our system, we read when the invoice is due and, uh, and we set a repayment date to us. That's, that would be the day they pay us back. But at the application stage, we set up direct debit with our customers okay. from their primary business bank account. And when each invoice is due, uh, we take it by direct debit, but we give ample notice to our customers when the payment will be taken uh, okay. from their account. So what, what would happen if I'm if I'm paid early or if I get paid late in, in terms of paying paying into Triber? So we actually made this quite flexible and customers can self-serve themselves. So if you're paid early by your clients, you can go on our platform and make an early payment. It's just a click and it just schedules a payment at that point and then you will pay us back early and you will only be charged for the days you used, right? Let's say the invoice was originally 30 days, but you were paid back on day 20. So you can pay us back 10 days earlier and you'll be charged 10 days less. Similarly, uh, you may be paid late by your customers, right? Your customers may tell you that they're going to pay you back late. In that case, you probably want an extension to pay us back as well. So you, again, you can go to the platform and request the payment extension. We'll review it. And once approved, your payment due date will change to the new one. And we'll again, just collect it by, by direct debit on that date. And we charge again, just at the same pricing level for the extra days. Right, and it's all something people can do in the platform. They can come in yes. and, and I know that's one thing working with Soldo, a lot of our customers love that they can come in and control the cars and control just to do everything instantly on their own as well. That, that self-serve option to come in and work with it. So it makes sense. Uh, I mean, it, it sounds like it's just a really, for, for the companies that would need this this type of financing, it sounds like a, a, a great option. Well, Goche, thank yeah. you so much for the time and, and, and telling us a little more about Triver. So appreciate that. Thank you. Great, brilliant. Thank you. Well, to finish off this webinar, I just wanted to highlight a couple of free downloads, maybe useful content for you to use and to take from here as well. Two to highlight, one, what we call the Soldo Spend Index. It's a report on business spending across Europe based on how companies have been using their Soldo card. It's 
you uses data from over 18,000 businesses looking at how they've spent and you can benchmark yourself, see if your spending is on par with others. And this one in particular is interesting because it takes a deep dive at AI and really looks at how our business is investing, how much and on what tools they're using to spend on AI. The second is working with uh, the popular dummy series. It's a solo edition of managing business spend for dummies. So a chance to get a good overview and introduction to all that is business spend management and making sure you're making the most of managing your own business spend. Those are available on our website in the resources section for free to download today. Uh, and hopefully with those and all of the other updates, it helps you to see ways that you can accomplish more and achieve more going forward through the rest of the year. Thanks for spending the time with me and we hope to see you again soon.